I think another way that uh, media shapes children's thinking is that war often is a part of children's play experience. Many of the interactive war games are about past wars. These games also have a way of blurring reality so that the games are promoted as if they are telling the true story when in fact they are made up stories promoted and presented as facts. Twelve years ago today, American troops were in the Persian Gulf, a little more than halfway through Operation Desert Storm. Now another war with Iraq is looming, and for the developers of one of the most popular video games on the market these days, the timing could not be much better. It's one of the biggest selling computer games of the year. More than a million copies sold worldwide in just three months. The player becomes part of a special forces team behind enemy lines. That enemy is Iraq. The fortress is protected from air attack by several SAM sites. Destroy them to allow the airstrike to proceed. Eliminating General Aziz would essentially end all serious Iraqi resistance. Developers are getting instructions from Gulf War veterans to make their work as realistic as possible. In their gameplay, children utilize high-tech weapons. They instigate massive virtual killings. And at the same time, they associate this behavior with patriotism. Now official word, Saddam will pull back. To repeat, Saddam Hussein has agreed to withdraw from Kuwait. These games have a way of blurring the truth. Games are promoted as if they are real. Headline news. Iraq has surrendered unconditionally within the last hour. Killings are rewarded and appreciated. My countrymen and I are eternally grateful to the Allied powers for cussing out these invaders and returning our nation's freedom. What we have is a very close, uh, a close unity between the world of entertainment and politics. Um, most notably after September 11th, there were meetings between the executive branch and the entertainment industry, with Hollywood actually saying, you know, how can we help promote the war on terrorism? You know, what can we do for you? Both sides are saying Hollywood is not starting a propaganda war. So exactly what is it doing? Joining me is Los Angeles Times political reporter Ron Brownstein. Ron, what is this that they did? Actually, Greta, the second meeting they've held between uh, administration officials in Hollywood, and this one was a much higher level gathering from both sides, both from the creative and the studio side, and also with Carl Rove representing the president. Basically, what they're looking for ways to do is for Hollywood to plug into the war effort. Since 9 11, we've gone high tech over the water, so the dope runners have gone low. The United States does not negotiate with hostage takers. And really, Jerry Bruckheimer was also instrumental there. They put the movie Black Hawk Down uh, further in production, uh, or accelerated its production so that it could be released sooner. Kilambai <laughs> Ruda, 